Hi everyone, this is LOA Uncorked with Gina and Holly. We intend to have some fun around Law of Attraction principles. Let's discover and unleash the magic that exists inside ourselves. Tune in as we go on the hero's journey together to uplevel our lives with no bullshit, all truth, and nothing but fun. Grab a glass and join our virtual VIP conversation. Welcome to LOA Uncorked. This is Holly. And this is Gina. And guess where we are? Come on. On location. For those of you on the podcast that is on audio, yeah. you should check out our YouTube because we are filming from our balcony at Enchantment Resort yeah. in Sedona, it's Arizona. Incredible view. And you know, you, you just you can just, you know, ignore the bottom half of the screen and just look up above <laughs> and be inspired by it's these beautiful. this red rock and canyon it's gorgeous it's a special place um, for but, sure you know before we got here of course there were calamities that happened all right mm -hmm. and it started with the fact that apparently i was randomly selected yes. for bomb making materials and they swabbed me just my hands yeah which set off alarms yes which i missed all she of was this. just behind me yeah. and you know typically the, we go to the airport together this is the one time one karmically it just says we should always go together we should because she would have laughed her ass off mm -hmm. um, i would have videoed it for the recording all of you. for yep. everybody mm -hmm. so this woman proceeds to swipe my own jaw you violate which is a little bit I of a violation i just told her to violate me i said just go and she's like i have to tell you exactly what i'm doing so she said i will swipe your own jaw <laughs> and then she said i will what well, which for unja, i mean I'm, i don't know what unja means i mean you can only imagine the most uncomfortable spot for a swiping well and then up the crotch level yeah and mm -hmm. then the breast i just go just do me she goes do you want me she goes do you want to go to a private place i go oh, oh no no, no. Listen, you're gonna do this out here lady. oh yeah we're doing it out here <laughs> and so it starts there and then we get to uh gina missed the whole transaction but she so caught up with me it. almost because mm -hmm. it, I took so long because then the shoes and yes, like, everything. Listen, I'm surprised they didn't want to look in my cavities. I mean, it was that close. <laughs> I mean, they felt the cavities. They just didn't look get inside the cavities. So what was the bomb making material? Have you just de Oh, deciphered? yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So listen, okay. I'm glad you asked that, Gina. Yes, that's a very good question. I'm curious so now. As I can't we were wait bonding, for you to put it on. Because, because once you oh, are violated God. like that, you do bond. I mean, it, it, it is a thing. Okay. <laughs> and so I said, all right. Like, do you, her, do you know go, her name? I didn't ask it. Okay, but okay. I go, she did say they're watching and they'd fire me if I didn't tell you exactly what I was going to do to you. And I'm like, well, that's nice. <laughs> that helps. I mean, Warn just, before you, like, you know, right? violate. Yeah, that's oh nice. Oh, my God. That's okay, nice. so, uh, okay, so your question. Yes. So as we were bonding, I said, all right, like, let's cut through the horse shit, okay? <laughs> what, why, why do you think I have bomb making right, materials? She goes, right. well, self-tanner, which I did use that. And then, oh, I think it's my souffle. The, when the souffle okay uh, the souffle is this body like yes. lotion butter oh my god we should like it's delightful oh we should i am gonna be um we should strip put in the notes. myself Let's yeah put in the notes. Yes. i got it in florida at the spa in florida but that thing yeah is like light and fluffy and it's gives like you a whipped. shimmer it's not gorgeous like, like you know edward yeah you know but colin in the, in the sun right just enough to not look Edwardish, but yep, kind of just rock enough -ish. to look. Just yeah, a little just something, a little something. dusted with something special. Um, well, here's the thing: as we were doing our, we'll we'll get to it. But yes. these rocks here are magical. A, the space and this place and this resort and this part of the country magical, and the rocks even look like they're souffléed with your body. Well, they do they look glitter souffléed. in the sun. Like, not only are they red and gorgeous, but they glitter, and it is beautiful oh so God. i mean you have to wear that here you okay right so in. we've got to pace ourselves so yes. really alaska only flies into phoenix okay yeah. alaska get your shit together yeah. okay really yeah. <laughs> anyway um they fly into phoenix and so we had like a two and a half hour drive and i said yeah we'll film on the yeah that sounds like so much fun well apparently well it's labor day weekend is mm -hmm. it labor day yeah labor day. labor day weekend and you get that mixed up with memorial day i get all those things mixed up nevertheless <laughs> as we're on there i said an, i said two hours and 40 minutes i'm like yeah okay, great 
and we got some coffee and then it said three hours and I'm like oh shit okay and it then it said four hours worse. okay and so we should have been at the Enchantment Resort by five. We would have saw the sunset, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we didn't get here till I mean, honest to God, was it eight thirty? But here felt like midnight. It yeah, eight thirty. Like eight thirty. So here's the thing: is as we're going through the desert, I mean, honestly, it's one hundred two degrees. They say turn off your air conditioning if you're overheating, and we're for stopped. the next five miles, and we're going like zero. 10. We're no, going like 10. zero. Well, okay. I mean, I could have run faster than that. Okay, like listen. <laughs> No, and they yes, like, and I started true. to hyperventilate, and then the buzzards started swooping. Okay, they, <laughs> there are buzzards here, and they were swarming and swarming. They wanted our sweet meat. I know it. They were swarming, Don't ask swarming, people. and then we get here. We're starving. We haven't had any beverages. I mean, Lord knows we could use some bubbles. Anyway, mm -hmm. regardless, we get here and we go straight to the restaurant bar. We're starving. Okay. I mean, someone, someone was this a little one. hangry. I mean. I was getting angry. I was. I was like, okay, my I sweet it on meat the is my sweet meat is getting sour. <laughs> I mean, there's not enough of it for the buzzards because I'm wilting away. <laughs> oh there's nothing. God. I'm wilting. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, so we get there and then all, we're eating. It's glorious. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah, the food is incredible. Uh, and people were incredible. Everything's incredible. And, and it's dark. Like it's, it's dark. dark here. Like, like pitch black. Dark. I mean, like you can't see goddamn. Listen, thing. they don't even have road lights. I mean, no. there's nothing along no. the roads. I mean, you're literally no. like peering your little eyes and trying to see anything. It's so dark out here. So anyway, so we're sitting there wrapping up our dinner, and she goes, "Oh, like, I think there's bats over there." And I go, "Oh, I love oh, yeah. bats." And no. she's like, "Oh no, I hate no. bats." And I'm like, "Bats no. in your belfry." Okay, so we no. had no. bats, buzzards, fox. Oh, we almost hit a fox. Yeah. Well, I he mean, got he. I didn't almost hit him, but he got away. But yes, a fox. I mean, it was just. We were a little like, we were, it was like it was like we we're in the zoo, but the but the animals were out. <laughs> well, and there there are scary things here. There's yeah. scary bugs. There's there's lizards. Yep. I think they're cute. The lizards, have, but yes, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so we are so excited to be here. So we were going to do a show about everyday magic, mm -hmm. and we we're going to do it in Tacoma, and we just decided, let's do it in Sedona. Sedona. So I packed the podcast equipment. Here we are. <laughs> and uh, and after our bouts in the Belfry and the buzzards and the sweet meat and, and the first day and, and today, know, all that, okay, listen, we have to pine upon the everyday magic, don't you think? Yes. So today became mm. the most magical day, mm. and yeah. yesterday was magical. Yesterday was wonderful. Today was. Unlike anything I've I, no, ever been a part of. No, and it's more beautiful be here than I've ever yeah. experienced in my whole entire yeah. life. We went to the vortex, and on the way up to the vortex, where the rocks, you have the divine feminine yeah. and the divine masculine. I may post a picture on that. And the vortex is, is right sort of in the Middle. center. So you're yin and yang. Yes, and it was, so it was about a what? half hour 45 minutes I was slower so half 45 minute hike up I, to the I top don't, I don't know yeah I don't I have know no either. idea but like so not a not a terribly long hike no up it was there, gorgeous but about three quarters of the way through all of a sudden we could hear this through the canyon this magical flute sound yes and and yesterday our concierge told us that there was a man that would come up and play at, at the vortex and if we were lucky that maybe we might catch him and so holly turns around her eyes look like looking like a crazy honey badger like she looks and she looks around and she goes he's here oh my god we have to go so we expeditiously as expeditiously as i could we got up there and um that's when magic everyday magic kind of this podcast all sort of came together i think right but we had some of these great ideas and did. this but this man just was beautiful so this as we were going up he's you know yeah. you could hear him saying we're one with the universe and then you would play a song and the last song once we crested and we were at the middle yeah his song so we kind of sat down and listened to yeah the, his the song last was song. like this is the last song it's about joy and it was a beautiful song and then he climbs down off the the perch whatever mm -hmm. the off the rocks and comes <laughs> down and gives us this yeah, these from the red rocks, these hearts that are glorious that he makes. He makes, and he puts them in his pocket with crystals, and infuses them with what he says. Blesses them, and he 
puts them in the crystals and he said it's just it's, it's just magic. huge beautiful love yeah it's beautiful love it's magic and so he, kept, <coughs> he started talking to us about magic and so yeah. we decided that our everyday magic we were going to tell you the stories we heard today yeah. from the people the magical people here yeah in sedona and he was one of them so yeah. his name is robert he's mm -hmm. there every day unless it's snowing or raining yeah and he doesn't know why he does it is that what he said he it's said yeah. and this is really important because if you're wanting to do anything you should listen to this because i feel this way about our podcast mm -hmm. you know he said i don't know why i first started doing it. i was called to do it i don't know why i did it but i continued to do it and then i figured it out and he was like from my music i send out healing energy yeah. from the flute yeah and then, of course, he gives these rocks, which are healing energy. He goes, I didn't know why I did it, but I just did it. And he said, does it, he feels like it's a form of Reiki, which he practices. And he feels like through that music, it's a form of, of Reiki. And he shares that with people who are on the spiritual journey coming to this special place. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gets as much joy out of it when it comes from the heart. If it comes from your heart and you feel called to do it, uh, it's the right thing to do. You shouldn't question it. And that it it absolutely will influence, impact, and and everyone around, and they can carry it forward in their own special way. It doesn't have to be the same way he does it, but it should inspire all of us to, and he hopes it inspires everyone to lead with your heart. Lead with the heart, do something special, do what you're called to do, and that's what is magic. And he said magic, I would guess in our conversation at least seven times. Yeah, and he said, I don't know what magic is if it's not yeah. giving out, you know, love from your heart and yeah. doing what's your true yeah. calling because it creates magic. And once you create magic within one person, it has that ripple effect. Mm -hmm. And so we talked greatly about how, you know, he impacts others and we kept saying you're a gift. He goes, no, you're a gift too. Yeah. You're your, a gift in your own uniqueness. Right. And that this life we are meant to, even if you're not sure why you are doing it, if you feel called to do it, if it feels like it's something in your heart to do it, and only something you feel, not worrying about what anyone else thinks, what, what you feel is important to, to give out in the world, to, to do it. It's, your, it. it's a calling to do. Right. And it will impact you. You'll feel good about it, but because you'll see the impact it has on other people. So, and I'm telling you, he was a special man. He stayed, we talked for 10 minutes, 15 minutes with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we'll put his picture on, on our, probably on this episode, actually. Uh, he's a special man. Um, but we're all special people. He wouldn't allow you to. He would not that allow that. That's very out. true. That's very um, true. I, I think that, you know, when, when it comes to, magic it's like i think what he does gina though is that he recognizes that everything can be magic yeah and um giving love is magic yeah for sure and um and when we think of magic we want to wiggle our nose and have something appear yeah um and that isn't always the case but he did give us these hearts that he made mm -hmm. and he said you can hold them and it's of course it's mother earth and if you have negative feelings that towards others or that somebody's done something to you that's very hurtful when you, you feel can, badly about something you've yeah. done that you feel like you would like to give back yeah you can take it and, and put it into mean. this heart right and then you can put the heart on the earth and the earth absorbs it lovingly and transmutes it and that that's alchemy by the way mm -hmm. you know and sure. transmutes it into you know fuel for the earth mm -hmm. and then you take it back and it's really good to go so he was telling everybody so we weren't the only ones who said oh, yeah. he went to every person that was up there in the vortex mm -hmm. and gave them the same specialness although i think we had him longer and we did I think take we did. pictures and yeah. you know like yeah. you know we have to up, up start it a little bit yeah well we, we talked about our podcast and kind of what what are the messages that this community brings and and he loved that and we were sure to share that we would 
be sure and be passing this on because you know he's it's it was a it was a very I mean literally cry was crying the I whole was time crying he was talking. too like I had to hold it back tears, I was like I'm gonna, yeah I could not I, tears I was like, rolling down my face the whole time he was now I had sunglasses on hopefully yes I, I didn't know maybe I just thought maybe I had bad allergies I, or something no, I thought I was gonna, <laughs> if I looked at you I would have lost it so yeah. I kept looking at him yeah, yeah and I kept it together but I was like how beautiful and how the divine works to have this man show up exactly yeah. with what we were talking about and what we needed yeah and um and a living embodiment of absolutely every day every day magic, magic is and you know you have to look you know you have to look at everything without the eye of practicality yeah because somebody that would have looked at this could have said oh it was just a coincidence that you met this person there yeah. and i'm like yeah no i don't think so because no. then after we met him we went into mm -hmm. the oh god well, there's a whole lot, lot of, of things so a whole lot of things there's but, a whole lot of things in between yes but then <laughs> we went into the um the, the gift shop the gift shop which mm -hmm. we love to drop money there mm -hmm. and rip was there okay who, who's which, our new best friend new best friend we met him yesterday yeah. and we became fast friends with rip and, and so he mm -hmm. so we were buying some presents for the next podcast guest yeah, and yeah, yeah. anyway we were doing other stuff things other mm -hmm. things anyway um and you know having a glass of champagne and and rip was great he showed me a prickly pear what one looked like mm -hmm. by the way he took mm -hmm. me outside to show that mm -hmm. anyway he said you can do when he he heard of law of attraction right and he equated that back to affirmations in his mind yes he said you can do the affirmations all you want and you're not going to get anything right you have to do it from the heart. Right. And so, so it's gotta be in you. You have to feel it and know it. And it's gotta come from your heart. So the practical person says, you know, this, uh, we can, it's just a coincidence. I say it's never a coincidence because what happens is right. once I acknowledge it, right, then more happens. I, I'm expecting more magic today. Oh, we're having and, more magic and yep. more and we did we found this beautiful girl yes we didn't find her we ended up in the prayer arrow class yesterday with her young yep. lady from uh, san, san francisco, francisco. Mm -hmm. and she is delightful and we met her and we had a magical conversation mm -hmm. about her you know kind of changing mm -hmm. her focus and up leveling her brand mm -hmm. And yep, I can't wait is. to see what she does in the world. Yeah, Alicia. So, Alicia. Yeah. So she was incredible. She and was incredible. So it, the incredibleness keeps coming when yeah. you recognize it. Yep. It's like I was out on a walk, Gina, with um, a friend of mine, Carrie, and we, you know, we do this seven mile walk, and you know, she's very practical minded, and I always ask her, like, you know, what do you think things are just coincidence, or do you right. think they're not? And she was like, well, my practical mind, that's why I'm saying practical yeah. mind. She's the one who coined it. Yep. My practical mind would excuse it away. And I said, but I see a, f a feather on the ground. What do you think of that? She goes, yeah, there are birds here. Right. And I go, okay. And then we kept walking. There was another feather, then another friend, another feather. I go, well, what do you think about all these feathers? She goes, right. well, I mean, you know, we're down at the waterfront. Where there's, there's still birds. lots of birds around you. Yeah. yeah and I, I, we turned and we're going up a hill scaling, I don't know. Not Whoville, but an equally it's a bad hill. Good, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And um, and scaling your the hill. Seven mile, twenty-four yeah. mile walk, whatever <laughs> you know, we're doing. I know. And I, um, as we're going up, we see another feather, and then we get to the top, and we're in a residential area, and and she, I go, what about now that we've seen all these feathers? Do you think? And then she goes, well, I mean, it's getting kind of funny right now. Yeah. Right. And I went. Okay, but I go, we're going to find another feather, a really glorious feather. And not only, I mean, honest to God, three feet. She was, mm. well, I think that's it. And it was the most glorious feather. Wow. I put it on our last podcast. Oh, is that the with picture? With Warren Featherstone, because mm -hmm. it, it was on stones. It was mm -hmm. on concrete, and it was a feather. So I thought, Warren Featherstone. <laughs> so it's on episode 50. 50. 50. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lauren Featherstone is the picture of the final feather. I love it. Well, then I said, because I said, well, we're going to find another one. And there it was. And I said, well, now how do you feel? Yeah. She goes, this is pretty special, I think. I can't even explain it. And I said, but but you still saw what I did there. As I invited it in. Yeah. I invited it in. Yeah. I was thankful. Like, I yeah. do this little gratitude thing. Like, I'm so thankful for this day. And so when you notice things, just turn off the practical mind. Well, and the universe, we had talked about this a little bit yesterday. The universe... It, it there is in order to create magic there is a give and a take yes be, with the universe yes. right it's not a mm -hmm. one way if you similar to what rip said today like you can 
you know, do all these affirmations. But if you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. If you believe it, it, there is a give and take with the universe. Kind of like when you do your manifesting and you like lose your shit when the universe delivers yes. to you. And there's this like celebration and there's the sharing and there's, it's an, it's, it's an acknowledgement of what the universe is doing with you, right? Because it is a, it's a combination of you as the human in this life and the universe and co-creating. We believe in magic. This is Holly. And this is Gina. The LOA uncorked definition of magic is recognizing something special has occurred and you don't know how or why. And we invite each of you to experience more magic, joy, lots of laughter, all while uncorking your inner badassery to up-level your life. Everyone, welcome to the party.